Welcome back everyone. In the last video, I have uh, created this register function in the auth repository. In this video, I will use this register function to create a user account in AppRite. Let's see how to do that. First of all, I will register this auth repository inside the locator and to do that, I will move to locator.dart and after that, here I will copy this and will paste it here and instead of AppRite provider here, I will change it to auth repository. Once it has been registered here, I can use it from anywhere. Okay. Now here I will create a register qubit and to create the register qubit inside this auth folder, I will create a qubit folder and to do that, I will select this, move to view, then command palette and here I am getting the option block new qubit. If you are not getting, you can search it from here also block, right? So I will click here. Now it will ask for the qubit name. I will give the qubit name as register. And after that, press enter. It will ask actually where I want to create that qubit folder. And to do that, I will move to leave features inside the auth folder I want to create. So I will select that auth folder and I will select a folder to create the qubit in. Select this. And you will see that inside the auth, this qubit folder has been created with two files, register state and register qubit, right? Now, I will go to register state and here I will create some states. So there is a sealed class register state and register initial is extending the register state. So I will create some more states here. Let me copy this, paste it here. One will be loading, then success, then error. So I will change it to register loading after that register success and then register error. Now inside this register error here I will create a variable final string error and in the constructor of that register error here I will use required this dot error. So our state has been created. Now I will move to register qubit. Inside this register qubit, let me remove this and import the flutter block package. So click here and flutter block. And let me show you that in the pubspec.yml, I have taken the latest dependency of flutter block that is 8.1.6. Now inside this register qubit, I will use the auth repository. So here I will write auth repository this equals to locator and in the locator I want to find this auth repository. So I have got the instance of auth repository. Now here I will create a function register which will be call which we will call from the register view. Now this register function will take some parameters like first name, last name, all those things it will take. So let me move to auth repository and from here we can see that this function is taking this parameter. So let me copy this and here in the register qubit actually I will paste it. Now after that let me declare this method as async. Now here first of all whenever this function will be called at that time I need to emit a state. Which state? I will emit the register loading state. Now after that here I will create a variable final response equals to await then with the help of this auth repository instance I will call this register function and if you can see this register function return type is future of either of failure and user. So I will call this and it is taking this 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 parameters right. So this response is of type sorry this function register is returning future of either of failure and user. And uh, if you remember that this either is actually coming from the FP dart package. Now to actually get the response here I need to call response dot the FP dot package provides a method which is called as fold. Now it has two parts left and right in the left we will get failure and in the right we will get the success. So on the failure part here, let me write failure here inside the failure what I will emit, I will emit register error 
and this register will take this error and in this error actually I will pass this failure dot message fine and in this on right where we will get the success actually in the success here I can write user and what it will do it will emit which state register success state that's it so we have created this register function could be final let me declare it as final no issue okay now so our register qubit register state has been created now let me move to register view in the register view what i will do is that i will wrap this form with block consumer so i will click here and wrap it with block consumer and this block consumer here I need to pass the qubit that is the register qubit and here I need to pass what register state and I need to import this block consumer from the flutter block package now inside the listener we need to handle the state now whenever the state will be emitted as loading I need to display a full screen dialog loader okay and if the account has been created successfully then I need to display a snack bar message similarly if an error occurs at that time also I want to display a snack bar message fine and to show that full screen dialog loader and the custom snack bar what I have done inside the utils folder here I have created a file named as full screen dialog loader here what I have done here I have created a class which contains a boolean variable each dialog open having the default value as false and here I have created a so method what is the functionality of this so method this so method will display us a dialog and inside the dialog inside this builder in the center I have displayed a spin kit circle which we are getting from the flutter spin kit package let me show you in the pop spec .yml. here I have taken this flutter spin kit with the help of which we are getting that uh, spin kit circle having the color as app color right and similarly here I have created a cancel method what it will do it will close the dialog and this is a simple code nothing to explain here a simple two methods are there so and cancel the so method will so the dialog with a spin kit in the center and there is the cancel method it will simply cancel the dialog and similarly I have created a custom snack bar which contains a function so success so info so error and inside this function I have called the so snack bar method which is taking the context the message and accordingly I have passed the color if it is success then I, I am passing the green color if it is info then I am passing the blue color if it is error then I am passing the red color and inside the so snack bar method here I have displayed the snack bar in the text here I have passed the message and in the style I have used this theme and in the color I have passed the color as white and in the background color I am using the color which we are passing to this particular function that's it it's it is a self explanatory nothing to explain here fine now let me move to register view now here I need to write the code here first of all I will check if state is register loading if it is register loading then I need to display that full screen dialog loader and to do that here I will write full screen dialog loader dot so and I will pass the context fine after that in the else if let me copy this paste it here in the else if here I am checking if the state is success that is register success right if it is register success then I need to hide or I need to cancel that dialog loader for that I have created that cancel method so I will call that and after that here I will display a message like account created so I will use custom snack bar which I have already created sorry custom snack bar and 
I will call which method? I will call so success, which will take the context. And in the message here, I will write app string dot account created. So it will give this message. And once the account has been created, then I need to clear those text boxes. If I can show you the output here, if I am clicking here, it is giving some error because still the code is not completed. And uh, in the success here, what I will do is that in the success, I need to clear what I am saying is that suppose this is the register screen, then whatever values or whatever text we are writing, I need to clear that as well. For doing that, I will call clear text. This is the function which will be created by me. So let me move upward and here I will create that clear text function. What this function will do? It will simply clear all the controllers. So let me copy this, paste it here and inside of dispose, dispose here I will call the clear method. It's clear, it will be clear and it will also be clear. So clear text method is created. So once the account has been created successfully, then it will clear all the text, it will cancel the dialog loader and it will display this particular message. Here I need to check one more condition for register error. So here I will use else if state is register error, then I need to display the message. So I will copy this, paste it here, but this time this will not be so success, it will be so error. And instead of this account created, here I will use state dot error. Now from where I am getting this error? If you remember in the register state here, in the register error, I have used this error, right? From there, I am getting this state dot error. Now, whenever that button will be clicked, register button, at that time, I need to call that register function which we have created inside the qubit. So, let me move to that particular button. Yes, this one. Here I am checking whether the form is valid or not. If the form is valid, then I will use context.read and here I need to specify what type of qubit I want to read. I want to read register qubit and after that with the help of this I can easily call register function and in the register function here in the first name I need to pass first name controller dot text. Similarly, in the last name here, I need to use last name controller dot text. In the email here, it will be email controller dot text and for password, it will be password controller dot text. Right. Once this has been done, after that, I need to use this register qubit and to use this register qubit in the main dot dot here what I will do is that I will wrap this my app with block provider. So here I will use not block provider I, I can use multi block provider because we need to use a register qubit login qubit so I will use multi block provider and where it is I am not getting the option let me use block provider then and I will change it to multi block provider right and I need to import this multi block provider now once I am using multi block provider it will take providers as an array and inside this here I will use block provider and in the block provider in the create actually here I will use register qubit okay and as a child of that I will use my app let me do a hot restart and let me show you the output whether the account is created or not okay now i will click on register this page is opening let me give the first name as 
ripples last name as code let it be ripples code at the rate gmail.com and in the password let me give it as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 if I click here then you can see the password is visible as well now if I click on register then you can see loading full screen dialog loader is displayed and after that this is cleared and we are getting the message account created now here I can do one more thing once the account has been created successfully after that I will redirect the user to the login screen so I can move to register view and on the success here yes after this I can write context dot go named and from here I can use route names dot login so once the account has been created the user will be redirected to the login screen from where the user can log in now I need to check whether the account has been created to the app right console or not so let me move to the console and let me click here let me move to auth and here you can see that ripples code the email the user id it has been created now i need to check in the user details also so go to databases click here user collection and inside the collection you can see that the account has details has been saved successfully the document id the id the email the first name the last name full name and in the profile image we have not passed anything that's why it is null so we have created the or we have registered the user account in AppRite console successfully okay that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching